Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a peridot in Southfield, Michigan, and I want to talk about Alzheimer's disease today. There has now been, within the last week, published, I think, a breakthrough study showing actual posi possible causation, causation of Alzheimer's disease from gum disease bacteria, specifically Porphyromonas gingivalis. Now, I'm going to use the term PG because it's just an abbreviation because to say that every time gets a little bit cumbersome. So, PG is now being shown to possibly be an actual causative or one of the causative agents in Alzheimer's disease. They are now finding PG and PGN products in the brains of Alzheimer's patients to a large degree. And a company, Cortexime, has done a study with mice. They've injected the mice with PG, and they have found that it causes plaques in the brain and causes damage, neuro damage, neuro, neurological damage, which actually is the kind of thing we see as a precursor to Alzheimer's disease. They are in the process of developing, let's call it an antibiotic. That may not be quite the proper name for it, but basically it's an antibiotic that will inhibit or destroy PG so that the PG doesn't get to the brain, and maybe if the PG is already in the brain, it can kill the PG before it has a chance to really cause the plaques that cause Alzheimer's disease. So this evidence is mounting that gum disease not only may be a contributing factor, but may be an initiating factor or a causative factor in Alzheimer's disease. So it's really, really important that you make sure that your gums are healthy, there should be no bleeding, tissue should be healthy. We take a slide on every patient. Now we can't see the PG, but we see other organisms that we can see on the slide, and we put that on a big screen so I can see it and the patients can see it. And if these organisms are present that we can see, it's also an indication that it's gum disease and that PG is present. So we want to make sure that the gums are healthy because there's increasing, increasing, increasing evidence that if you have periodontitis, gum disease, which over half of the adult population has, and over 70% of the people over 65 have, it could easily contribute and possibly be a causative factor in Alzheimer's disease. And you need to catch it early because Alzheimer's disease starts in the early stages before you're really aware of anything. So the sooner you can get your gums healthy, the more chance you have of minimizing your risk of Alzheimer's. And that's very, very important. So make sure your mouth is healthy. It'll help you have a healthier brain as well as a healthier body. So take care, be well, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you if you have any comments or questions. Healthy mouth, healthy body, have a good day. Restore your smile and your health with the help of Dr. Nemeth and his associates. Visit drnemeth.com to schedule your appointment today.